Now, turning to the rest of the world, struggling with a surge in COVID-19 cases, Malaysia is in political turmoil as its prime minister has quit with no clear successor in place. The virus is also continuing to spread quickly across Japan and Iran. Kim Yo Sun reports. Malaysia's Prime Minister resigned Monday after conceding he had lost the majority support needed to govern the country. In that audience, I have tendered my resignation letter as the Prime Minister and all of my fellow cabinet ministers in line with provisions in our constitution. This is because I have lost the majority support of the members of parliament. This makes him the country's shortest ruling leader, serving less than 18 months in the post. His resignation comes on the back of mounting public anger over the government's poor handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, with over 1.4 million cumulated cases and 12,000 deaths. The country has the highest number of COVID-19 infections and deaths per 1 million in Southeast Asia. All of this comes despite an intense seven-month-long state of emergency and a lockdown across the nation. In Northeast Asia, Japan is set to extend its current state of emergency, which is due to expire at the end of the month through mid-September, with its COVID-19 surge showing no signs of abating. The number of new daily cases stood at over 14,800 on Monday, skyrocketing 17-fold compared to eight weeks ago when the country reported its lowest Monday tally in recent months. In light of the continued surge, the Tokyo Paralympic Games will also be held without spectators. However, organizers said local students will be able to watch some competitions in person as part of the school program. As Iran continues to grapple with the virus, its COVID-19 death hit a record high of 655 on Monday. With over 4 million accumulated cases, the Iranian government has imposed the toughest virus warning across the majority of the country. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.